Hey everyone, I am Shelly Zalas, the CEO of the Female Quotient, and I am so excited to be back for our Female Founders Series with New York Festivals for our See Her Lens Award. And today we have Meg, uh, the founder of Bambuda, and I am just excited to hear your story, Meg, and just the backstory, everything that you're doing with this incredible product. So Tell us all about you, how you started the, this incredible company, what, what the inspiration was, and, oh, and also, where are you? I mean, I just see this incredible blue sky. This is a head bobbing in the sky you. here. A head bobbing. <laughs> and like you're probably oh. to some great music. I, I don't know what Gosh. you do, but... Well, I, I'm getting ready to listen to some great music, so I'm sorry about the background noise. Um, I'm also next to the river. Um, just in Merritt, BC, for a festival called Base Coast, and um, it's a, it's my first festival back representing Bambuda since before COVID. I don't even remember when that even was when I last went. But um, yeah, it's such a privilege. I'm so honored and grateful to be able to to come to places like this and do business and have fun. And there's a lot of healing work and like natural medicine, like just good vibes all around you know and I get to do all of it together which is so important to me because I want to live that life where I'm integrating work and play and and all you know sustainability so it really uh it's an all-in-one approach a very holistic <laughs> uh, so we say yeah. yeah one life and it needs to be fully integrated so you're doing it right I try <laughs> I think so I, I'm really I'm str I've been struggling honestly just because um you know trying to to make it happen and, and trying to remember to believe in myself because there's so many naysayers oh you're just like my mom a starving artist and uh and I'm like well I guess kind of I really believe in this and I think it's something and I, I just need to keep persevering because um look like I just get reminded every time I do stuff like this like I can be here and I can work and I can spread the love and you know spread the word about sustainability and to me that's I'm, I'm living it up, I guess. You know what, Meg? It's about a feeling. And, you know, I would say you got to follow right. your heart. And it seems to me, you know, even using the word sustainability or, you know, purpose and passion. And when purpose meets passion, you're unstoppable. And that's what you are. So tell us Thank where you. the inspiration it began. came from and where it all began. Ooh, it's, a, it's a bit of a loaded question, but I'll try to tackle it. Um, where to start with that. Uh, basically, I studied biology. So that kind of gave me like this root in conservation and ecology. And I always had a love for nature and animals. And I forgot about it a little bit as I was told to, you know, go into the job that makes the most money and do this and this and this. And that's what that's what successful means. And so I studied and then I was confused about life and what to do. And what my passions really were and so I set out on the road and went traveling um, as a as a solo backpacker for many many years and trying to do a little bit of um, balancing between volunteering with animal uh, rehabilitation centers and research and in like habitats of animals and things like that and then I just kept traveling I loved learning about new cultures and uh, experiencing new things and seeing new landscapes and I was just like yeah I really do appreciate nature and I want to make sure that we can continue to appreciate nature and not you know not just keep hacking away at it and destroying it and so I knew I needed to do at that point something that gave me the liberty to continue doing that as well as be um sustainable in, in my own life's uh, needs, right? So I was like, okay, well, business seems good. I think I'll tackle that, I'll go for it. And so I started looking up, bamboo kept come, becoming present to me. So I started looking at different bamboo products. And then I thought, well, what could be a good fit? Something that somebody always needs that can make a big impact because you know it, it would spread a lot. It wouldn't just be a small target market. It's something that could encompass pretty much everybody. And, uh, and that happened to be sunglasses. So I looked if I, I could get production done and was like, it was miraculous. Like literally within 
three days I had decided that's what I was doing. I had got the name, I had registered the website, I bought the domain, I ordered samples and I was just like kicked into gear. And I registered the business uh, in BC, Canada. And it was just like, yep, this is what I'm doing. And it was so, yeah, it was fascinating. But it was just so aligned, everything. Well, I, I just love the combination bambooda. Like, yes. it's <laughs> bamboo. Right? Yeah. And bambooda, it was like, and by the way, as you're speaking to me, I see this ray of light around you. And it's like, oh. Oh, it could be the sun. It could be my oh, aura. No. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of everything. So perfect, you yeah. know. Yeah. And so, when did you start this company? So I started in at the end of 2014, um, and then I did a Kickstarter, and I just ramped it up, um, and I continued to travel and and spread in Central America, and I was really on the hunt for which I was on since the beginning, and I now finally found after seven years, um, was to do like natural bamboo fiber, hand woven pieces from communities in, in other countries. And um, I found finally, after so long, I've been searching, I found the, the ladies that I wanna work with in Guatemala, and they do natural dyes, Hand woven bamboo textiles. And so we're making our own cases and we're going to start our, our line of other um, lifestyle products. Well, I mean, yeah. I have to say, this is a See Her Lens Award. There is nothing more appropriate than See Her. That's exactly. <laughs> right. And when I heard that, I was like, wow, are you kidding me? Like, it's so beautifully, like, I don't know, just so connected. So perfect. So you distribute all over the world or like, are you US? We, or? We're, we're focused. Um, well, I guess I, I don't really know how to say we're focused because I've been selling a lot in Central America, but we do focus our target market on um, like online to the US and to Canada. But we're really, you know, reaching Germany, France, Europe, Australia, not as much as the U.S. and such, but um, we're really starting to branch out and, and try to hit those markets as well. And how many SKUs do you have now? I think like almost 30. Wow. Yeah, we Girl. just introduced. Thank you. It's so exciting because like because of this last festival that we did, we invested a lot into into getting that uh, the next inventory for that and we just designed a bunch of new styles and uh, there's some fun funky ones there I'm excited to share and you know what's next what's the expansion plans what's like what's next on the horizon for you well i really want to focus on um, the work that i'm doing with these indigenous women in guatemala and so the next would be to like start working out prototypes for uh, other products that we'll introduce and and just that's kind of on the on the horizon this summer i guess i'm doing a bunch of other events um throughout bc so i'll be pretty busy until like mid-august and then i think i go back at that time to guatemala to um to start working again with these ladies Wow. Okay. Well, I am just, I am so excited. I, I can't wait to see her uh, all over the world and to see her in our equality lounges. So um, please bring Bambuda into our equality lounges and let's feature you there. I would absolutely love that. Okay, great. I am so, so happy. Thank we have you. advertising week coming up in October in New York City. Oh, and right. we can even bring some of your Guatemalan um, women to um, showcase them and, be... you and tell the story. Wow, that would be really interesting. <laughs> that That's a, uh, yeah, that sounds really cool. Okay, so let's make that happen yeah. after you listen to your music at your festival. Yes, I do have to work a little, you know, I still have to set up the booth and then I got to work. Most of the time I'm stuck there. I don't get to do much, but I will enjoy myself a little bit, you know? Well, it looks like <laughs> I think it's time. Well, you have perfect weather. So uh, we're just so beautiful. inspired by you, proud of you, and uh, you are a do good and do well at the same time, which I think is the integrated life that you are leading. So I think you, you found it all. 
Thank you so much. So Meg, talk to me also about, um, you know, the, the other aspects of your business. And I know you talked a lot about the, you know, your women in Guatemala and the indigenous women and the importance of giving back and community. Talk about the importance of community and, you know, what does community mean to you? Well, I think it's, it's really important to, to bring together like-minded individuals and really start to, to support each other in our mission and our vision and and grow as a family and evolve together you know i think it's really lost in our culture that we we end up being so individualized and separate and and this is why i love coming to these events because it just brings people together in such a beautiful way integrated and and sharing and and i i was in the past doing a lot of trading um, with sunglasses for different products and and that was also spreading uh, the word and growing the community because it was supporting uh, other businesses in that way. And uh, I just love that. I would love to go back to that, you know, we can just be like a trading economy, <laughs> but I don't know if that's a, in our near future or not, but, um, but yeah, it's just, it's really is just growing, the, growing a family and feeling that, that deep rooted connection that we have each other's backs and, and we're in this thing together and we're going to get, through this life and uh, and have fun while doing it. Tell me about the event that you're at. What is the event that you're at? It's called Base Coast and it's um, it's a music, uh, culture, art festival that has uh, different food vendors and merchants and uh, a lot of sustainable products and really nice healthy food. I haven't been over to the section yet. I don't know what they're offering, but from what I remember, <laughs> I always enjoyed the food. And these kinds of things. And do you trade products? I used to more. I have to be a little bit careful now because I was a little willy nilly, just like, yeah, sure. Like, I, I love that. But at the same time, I'm trying to learn how to make the business uh, feasible. <laughs> you know. Do you, do you have a business partner? Well, I started alone. And then I had a few throughout the years that didn't work out. Um, and now I have a good friend uh, who's just jumped on board. And his mom, too, she's super sweet. And she's doing all the shipping for us in, in the U.S. And she's like put up the money to make make us um, able to go to the festival to buy the inventory. We had we were scrambling like crazy for the last festival just to like get get our feet grounded again and move forward with, with the business. And. And we pulled it off somehow. I don't even know. There were so many challenges, um, but she was integral and she still is integral. She's managing all the shipping. And uh, I just, I'm so grateful for both, both of them. He's focused on SEO website stuff, um, organ you know, everything also just kind of like, Hey, can you help me with this? And, and so, yeah, you're going, what's that? Sorry. You're learning as you're, you're growing. Yes exactly i i just came into this thing i mean i had a business when i was uh, like 19 i started a painting business in university called university first class painters and i guess that gave me a taste of like the entrepreneurial uh, or entrepreneurial uh, um, career line but yeah it really gave me that uh, the knowledge i needed to to start a business and now i'm just figuring it out as i go i have i don't know no, I didn't study business, but I'm, uh, I feel like I'm pretty confident what I'm doing. And so far, I'm still here. I survived COVID. With, so yeah, time to take it up the next, next notch. So you have heart smart. I think that's, that's what you have. It's, it's, <laughs> it's passion and heart smart. It's, it's not the textbook. You're it, learning. Uh -huh. you and, that's and right. That's, that's what you need. Yeah, it's just following intuition and really listening to that voice, you know, that gut feeling within myself and uh, and trying to remember to believe in myself. <laughs> but yeah. I did. I had lost it a little bit after COVID. Every day I was just feeling disoriented. And I was like, oh, gosh, you know, I've just been like pushing, uh, trucking away with this uh, with this business. Like, is it should I continue? And, OK, yeah, I've got my center again. I I need to to move forward. So. Well, I think you're doing a damn good job. Keep going, girl, and have Whew. a wonderful time at the festival. Thank you so much. Most important thing is believing in yourself. And I think That's you right.
Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Take care. Appreciate your time.